Hello and welcome to another Roll20 tutorial. As always, I'm Chaotic Shmoo, and today we're going to go into details about how to link your tokens and journals. I know I've explained a little bit in the past tutorials about this topic, but I wanted to go into great details regarding it. The reason why linking tokens to journals is so important is because of the amount of tokens the Game Master uses and wanting to make sure that we don't have to set them all up on the fly. Uh, if you don't need to customize your tokens and you just want to simply place them on the tabletop, then using the deck system in my past tutorials about the creating a deck uh, would work just great. Uh, and, and feel free to use that system. But if you do place tokens that you do need to have their health and other vital stats on the tokens every time, this new system here will help uh, utilize that and make your games run a lot smoother um, and have less uh, downtime uh, and whatnot. Um, so there's two types of journals. There's basically two types of journals. One is your character journal, um, which is for your like player characters, uh, bosses, uh, the tokens that are only used one or tokens, tokens or journals that are only used for one represent one monster or creature um, or player then you have what's called a mook which is a not a unique character and there could be multiples of them uh, such as a horde of goblins or a horde of zombies or a horde of whatever multiple enemies um, and we're going to set up both of them. One will have Imako here be the character journal. So there will be only one instance of Imako. And then we have the goblin here. And we'll set him up as a mook. Now a fair warning. The initial installation or setup can be a little bit complicated. Um, but once you get down... You're just going to fly through making these uh, like no other. Um, so what you're going to want to do for your first step is to make sure you set up your journals and make sure you have all of your vital stats set up. Um, you want to make sure your journal, go to the journal, click add. Uh, I explained all this in previous tutorials, so I'm going to skip all of that and just go right into it. If you don't know how to make journals, go Watch my past tutorials on how to make journals um, in the Roll20 tutorial playlist. And it'll explain all of how to make the journals and whatnot. But for the sake of this, I already have these made. Uh, we have Emiko here. We have a bio. We have the abilities. We have some weapon damage. Uh, this is set up all previously from last week's when I did the macro tutorial. Uh, and the commands you can use, the chat commands you can use. And she's all set up. Uh, the one thing we don't have in here, though, is her health, which will give her, she's a low-level character, we'll give her 18 health. And uh, just for saying this, we'll give her her AC. Uh, and we'll say she's got a 16 AC. Now, these are two things that I utilize in my game. So we're going to come, I'm going to close that. Now we're going to set up the goblin. Now again, I already have him pretty much inputted in here, but you know we have his AC, which is 15, and we have his health, which is 6. Now one thing you want to make sure you remember with the health is you want to have the maximum column filled out. All other attributes, you don't need the maximum column. That's why it has the optional commands, you know, optional text right there, so you don't have to put text in, or numbers in this column. But I but I, for health, make sure you have the maximum health and their current health. It can mess things up uh, when you're running the game and you want to subtract health and all that kind of stuff. Um, also advanced stuff if you decide to get mentor and use API scripts. There are some scripts that require knowing what their max health was and what their current health was because it'll activate certain things depending on what their health is at. So we got the journals pretty much set up. 
we're gonna close that for now and then we're gonna we have our our, our tokens here um, do you want to you want to get your respective tokens by going to the art library um, you know, type in what you want to find I goblin here I already have it in my library uh, or you know whatever else you need to find find all your tokens drag and drop them on the screen and then you got your tokens um, I already have them like you can see here and so we're gonna we're gonna double click Emiko and it opens up her token tools now I've, no, I've already gone over this stuff too so what we're gonna be looking for is the represents character drop down uh, and you're gonna want to select your journal of that represents this token and now for Emiko we're gonna go over to the bars here bar one two and three and we're gonna set the one bar to AC this is what I do in my uh, Pathfinder and Dungeon and Dragon games and then pa bar three is the health it pops in the numbers we're good to go right so we save it okay and if you see here we have the, the health the red bar red for health obviously and then we have the 16 for their AC well we're going to do the same thing for the goblin here we go goblin AC and health and they pop up right well now we're going to go back in here and we're going to go none and none and I keep forgetting that you guys can't see the drop down on here there's a giant list here um, that doesn't want to pop up for my recordings I don't know why I apologize for that um, but we're going to change them both back to none so it keeps the numbers in here and then it it, it'll still take these numbers based off this character sheet but because it's a MOOC we don't want it represented as every token you drop is is this this character sheet the reason being I'm gonna change these back to actually being connected right they're gonna be actually be linked now right we're gonna we're gonna save it and I'm gonna make a copy of this guy I just selected copy and paste uh, we'll, 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 we'll do three of them I'm gonna select this guy here and he loses three health now watch what happens they all lose three health. That's what we don't want. We don't want that unless they are magically connected in some way. Let's give them their health back. Um, we don't want that. We want the mooks because you got a horde of goblins. They all don't share the same health. We want the mooks to be independent. Each token to not be connected to each other. So we want to make sure the bars after you've selected the health. You could always just manually enter the health too is set to, to, to none. Now, if I copy and paste this guy is in here and I subtract three, it only affects this token. If I copy Emiko, it still affects all of them because she's set up to be a single individual unit where these goblins are set up Oops. to be you know every to, to be independent so you can just keep dragging and dropping them out here now now you see something here else I dropped them in here and they're smaller than these that's because the next step that we want to make for these is we want to go back into the journals All right, we'll go into Emoco here and we'll go to bio info it doesn't really actually matter which one you're on you want to click this edit button It'll open it up. You can select who gets the journal, who gets it. Um, but we're not worrying about that. We're worrying about this right here. Now, I want you want to make sure you have the proper token selected. Now, I have Emiko selected right now. And you want to use this use selected token. Now, she's in here. That makes this token the default token for this journal. Now, one thing to remember. Before you do this, you have to do these steps in order. If you don't, it's if you if I had Emoco here to none, no representation, and I selected here. Oh, gotta delete these first. So it's a blank token, right? And I select it and I do representation. Okay, save it. She's got her token represented now. 
I drag and drop it out here, it's completely blank, right? Well, let's go in here now and assign it to Emiko. You got her AC, you have your health, but nothing's popping up. Oh, there it goes, now it's popping up. The reason is, uh, it wasn't originally set up that way. See, AC is still not even popping up. You're coming up with problems and difficulties. Well, now I have this to this this token right here set up to be towards Emigo, right? But if I drop this in here, it's still blank. So you got to make sure that when you edit this journal, I'm going to remove this before you add the default token. You set Emigo up properly. And for some reason, her AC is not popping back up. Let's take a look here. It's because her AC went blank. You see, there was a problem. It glitched out. It had issues. It, it caused problems to where the AC no longer wanted to show up. 16's back on there. And we will save it. Now we're going to go back in here, edit, make sure Emoco is selected. There's her default token. Save it. Now Emoco's done. Now we're going to do the same thing with the goblin. So we're going to go edit. There it goes. Make sure the goblin is selected and select the token and save it. Close this. Now every time I pop a goblin out, it will be this size because you know you can scale it. It'll be this size and it'll have all the stats. And you can put as many goblins as you want on this field for Emiko to attack. You can sit there wailing on him. And that's how you set up your tokens, linking them to your journals. You have the two different types. You have the character journal, and then you have the, well, MOOC is what they call it in Roll20. Uh, journals where it's just, you know, as many monsters, you want a horde of monsters, you want to make sure the bars are not connected. It's still represented by a journal, so it knows where to get its information from. Like in this roll here, where it did the AC of 15, it took the journal's 15 for its AC. It takes it for every single one of these guys, but they're not fully linked, so they're not connected. They're independent tokens right now. And that's what you do. So thank you all for watching. Share this with your friends. And like this video for me and subscribe for more awesome. Uh, thank you again. And I'm Chaotic Shmoo. And I'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.